Thank you so much for tuning in. I am back again with another wig video. Before we get into this video, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free. And I have a lot more wig unboxing videos for you guys. Subscribe below so you don't miss a single one of them. Today, I'm gonna be unboxing a brand new wig from Best Lace Wigs. This is actually my first wig from them. So we're just gonna get right into it. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. The wig came in this box and it was shipped via FedEx. It took about three days to come. I was given a tracking code, so I was able to track that myself. It has best lace wigs in the front and their logo up here and it says 100% human hair with affordable price and it has a barcode a QR code here and in that always happens in the box was a gift and the wig this gift thank you very much best lace wigs I actually do really appreciate it it's like you guys knew I needed a purse I got this really cute patent purse this obviously is not relevant but I'm just saying it was a very good gesture in here is the wig and it came in this plastic bag. Other things that were in here include a packet of wig caps, two pieces of blonde wig caps. I never like using the blonde wig caps. My skin tone isn't as light as this, so I feel like black is a lot better underneath my wigs. Won't be using that. I also have in here an exchange form and also a note, which includes all the information about my wig. Virgin Brazilian hair, gray bob lace front wig, code BOB004, gray and black, 12 inches, cap 09, glueless lace front wig, wig density is 150%. The wig is wrapped up in a like a flimsy hairnet just to protect the style during transit and it's got a tag on here saying lace wig best quality 100% human hair tangle free um, hair care instructions this is the wig it's a grey and black wig kind of like shoulder length bob it already has a parting in there but as usual I'm probably gonna go in and customize that a little bit more myself I'm gonna need my scissors I'm gonna need my comb I'm gonna need a mirror so I can see what I'm doing I'm gonna need of course my foundation because once I'm done tweezing the part, I'm going to apply that on there. I'm going to turn the wig inside out so you guys can see what's going on on the inside. This is the back here and it's got the spare bit of lace on the back and at the front. It's got a slide here at the back and it's got the two elastics that you pull and you attach onto the slots that are here at the back. So I think I'm going to remove this because I never need this at the back. I'm going to cut this out using my scissors. It's also got three slides here in the front, one here, one here and another one in the middle. So one goes here, one goes there, one there. I never use these once again because I just feel like my cornrows are in a position whereby these slides just don't work and I don't want them to be gripping onto my cornrows because that never really feels very good. So I'm usually quite content with the security that these two elastic bits give me at the back. I'm going to get myself a pair of scissors. So I'm just going to cut this tag off to start with. I'm going to start by trimming off the lace on the back, trimming around where the hair is. <laughs> trim off the excess lace in the front as well and there is a spare bit of lace like I said I don't need these slides so I'm also going to cut this out so I'm going to attach my two elastics at the back to the middle section because obviously that's probably where it's going to give me the most security pulled them and I've slid them into the middle section now I'm going to have to try it on it's very very secure like I didn't even need the slides at all I didn't hook the slides onto anywhere and that's what it looks like it's pretty much just sat right on the edge of my hairline so I've decided to first tweeze the part I've noticed that it's way too thin and it's almost invisible I'm going to tweeze it so it comes further back on my head so just so it comes a bit higher here and a little bit wider <laughs> put it back on and style it. Applying a little bit of my John Frieda Frizzy Serum. This is the polishing serum. I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand, just one squirt and I'm going to rub it through the hair, especially the front so that these wispy bits here are a little bit more tame. <laughs>
some of this olive oil anti frizz glossing polisher and all it does is just help tame these flyaways i'm literally using like the tiniest amount you can't even see it. it's so small only for these bits here that are kind of like sticking up <laughs> Last thing I'm going to do is put some foundation on the parting so the parting is a bit more visible and a bit more realistic to my skin tone and I'm just going to use a small brush and my foundation. <laughs> it guys I am done with it I have trimmed a little bit just off the front here just because I felt like it was a little bit too heavy this is a grey lace wig bob from best lace wigs and pretty much all I did was cut out the slide that was at the back I adjusted the other elastic section I put some foundation on the parting obviously you guys can see the parting is a lot more visible now and of course I tweezed the parting a little bit I shifted it back some more and I opened it up so it was a bit wider and a lot more visible I really do like the wig it's a nice grey colour it's not too white it's actually a really really cool grey. And we have a lot more details in the description box so everything you need to know about the wig is going to be there so please make sure you check it out. Links as well as social media links as well for best lace wigs and myself is also going to be in the description box. A direct link to this wig on the best lace wigs website is going to be in the description box so just go ahead and click that and it's going to take you straight to the website. Any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section below and I will be more than happy to answer them for you. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you next time. Bye!